just make you sick to your stomach. What kind of people? People have no rahma in their heart. How could you do that to a human being? And now in Mexico, they've got the same situation going on. All this human trafficking. They estimate now the United Nations estimates there are more slaves today than ever in human history. And most of them are in sexual servitude. More than any time. We just had a building collapse in Bangladesh. And Walmart, don't shop at Walmart. I'm telling you, do not shop at Walmart. Don't shop at Target. None of these places. I'm serious. We need to stop supporting these people. And just, you can't change them through legislation because they have bought the legislators. The only way we're going to change them is where it hurts them, which is the pocketbook, because that's the only thing they care about. They don't care about human beings. They care about the bottom line. And I really think we need to be ethical shoppers because every time you buy something, you're making an ethical choice. And I told people about the Better World Buying Guide. We should do these things. If you have Berkeley is a fair trade city. It's, it's one of the only five fair trade cities in America because many of the shops in Berkeley are committed to fair trade, fair trade coffee, fair trade chocolate, finding these out. We can afford to do that. It costs a little more at this stage, but this is how you have to raise consciousness in this country. We should have Muslim clothiers that make ethical clothing where people are paid just wage. Hershey, you know Hershey chocolate? Hershey, Hershey, Pennsylvania is named after him. He had factories in Puerto Rico and he was a Christian man who refused to pay the Puerto Rican workers less than he paid the workers in Pennsylvania. They had the same standard of housing. This can be done. It's not a utopia. It's just basic human decency. But you have to educate people. You have to change the way they're being raised. You have to change the way they're thinking. This is what our Prophet ﷺ did. But if they don't have mercy in their hearts, there's nothing in our religion for them. The Prophet ﷺ, when he kissed the child and the man said, we, you kiss children? He said, I have ten children. I never kissed them. He said, I have nothing in my religion for somebody who has no mercy in their hearts. There's nothing there. I can't do anything for you. You have to have a basis. And whatever that is, if you have even a little bit, you can grow it. When you learn, you, your brain grows. You get dendritic. You get all these connections that begin to move. We know about neuroplasticity. You can change your mind. You can change the way you think. 